Good morning everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I'm a teen with a passion for animal rescue and in particular kitten rescue. So, it is a little before 8 a.m. and I, it's a Saturday and I don't prefer to be up this early yawning there. But because I have foster kittens, I had to get up at 6 to feed them and then I had to separate them because they were being sucklers and so now I just I didn't go back to sleep after that. Basically today's video is just going to be a day in the life of me and what I do as a teenage kitten foster parent. Right now I have three litters. I have Lady and Minnie and Mickey. Lady is the mom, Minnie and Mickey are the four week old kittens. And then I have Sunny and her four babies who are a week old tomorrow and then i have my newest babies which i got yesterday they are about four days old today approximately they are orphans and i'm bottle feeding them yeah i'm basically gonna show you, you throughout my day this is not a school day so this is not like the most typical routine ever because i do the school days more often but I wanted to film today so if you want me to do a day with school I can do that later basically since it's almost 8 a.m. like I just got dressed I'm getting ready for my day now I'm really tired because I was up four times last night feeding kittens because they are less than one week old so they do need to be fed every two hours and so I've been doing that since I got them and I'm tired I'm gonna take you along with me to feed them. I'm probably not gonna do every feeding today because there are so many, but I might just like pop up. Hey, I'm feeding them this time. I don't know. My hair is kind of a mess. I already put some water in it to comb it down a bit, but it's still kind of a mess. Ignore that. Basically, I'm not sure I will be able to talk while I'm upstairs because my siblings are up there, but I will try sometime today to get the kitchen to myself to quickly show you how I make up the formula. And after I feed the newborn orphans they're not newborns they're like four days old but after i feed them then i will come feed the other cats sunny will you stop growling at me she doesn't like me so i I'm not sure I'm gonna explain how to make the formula more than that quick show because I should be making another video about how to syringe feed a kitten later soon so I'll explain it more in depth there and I'm not really gonna explain how to bottle feed them now or syringe feed them so the first thing I do is stimulate them Griffin want to be fed first well actually let me introduce you guys to them I got these guys yesterday they're all named oh, shh, shh, I'm speaking I'm speaking they're all named after Put him down for a second so I can talk. Oh, and he's still gonna scream. They're all named after mythical creatures. This is Griffin, he's a boy. He's a great tabby. And I'm just gonna stimulate him to go potty. This isn't too exciting, so I'll probably just cut out most of this. So I have the formula, and I'm just gonna feed it to him. Oh, good boy. He latched well. Okay, my storage got full and my camera stopped recording, so I just finished feeding Griffin, and now we're gonna feed Pegasus. This is Pegasus. He's all gray. Super cute. Time to stimulate. Ah, still need to feed him. Forgot about that. Tried to put him back, and I haven't fed him yet. Okay. You ready, buddy? Buddy, poly poly. Good boy. Okay, let's get some more. I would be using five milliliter syringes, but we ran out, so I'm using three milliliter syringes. Oh, that would be my alarm telling me to feed them. Sorry, I stopped feeding you, buddy, for a second. I think he's about done. And then after every feeding, they have this milk mustache, and so I take a baby wipe, unscented, and wipe it off him. Okay, you wanna go next, um, Siren? She's very loud. This is a girl, the only girl with a litter, and this is Siren. Oh, she's pooping. That's a lot of poop, girly. I think this is actually her first poop ever, called the meconium poop. It's the poop that they get from, like, it's darker brown than the poop that they have afterward. And it basically, like, is that color because it was the nutrients they got 
It from, was from their mom's womb. So these guys are very little. They're pretty strong though, which is good. Okay, Simon, you want some num nums? Oh, that's good. I'm barely pushing at all. She's sucking most of it up by herself. I'd like for you to drink at least three grams or three milliliters. Three grams would be a lot. Three milliliters, please. Okay. Oh, this is Phoenix. Did I say that? He's nice and squirmy. I'm just drawing up the formula right now. Okay, num num time. Oh, yes, you want that. These guys are very good eaters. He's not exactly latched right now, but he's swallowing well. Good boy. I think that's it for feeding right now. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and get my other cat's food. So this is one can or two halves of the I Am's Pate wet foods for Lady. Hi Lady. She used to hate me, but now she likes me and I like her now. And then this is Mickey. And this is Minnie. What was that? They are four weeks old. They got their first vaccine yesterday and they are so sweet and so cute. Now I gotta weigh them. They still get weighed twice a day just because I can weigh them twice a day, so I do. They haven't ever gone down weight though. Their mom does a great job. Mickey Mix. 569. That's good. He was 554 last night. And Minnie. 542. She was 533 last night. Now, Minnie and Mickey eat some of their mom's dry food. They started eating it. And that's not good because they could choke. They're only four weeks old. So I soak their dry food in water now and then put the soaked dry food in there. So I'm gonna go get some more of that because they're out. So this is just some soaked I am kitten dry food. And they don't need any more water. They have enough. So I'll come play with you guys later, okay? Now let's go feed Sunny and Smee. Oh, and Sunstream, my other resident cats. They don't like wet food, so they get dry food. They just get I am cat food. One cup twice a day for all three of them. Sunny, are you hungry? She does not like me very much. I'm gonna grab her some more dry food. She gets Purina kitten food because the rescuer I'm working with for her gives us food and that's the food she gives us so we use it for her but not for the other cats because they're not hers. She gets a full cup of that like twice a day because she's nursing babies. Here are the fat cats eating. Serena always eats later. This is an unattractive angle. Okay, gave that to her. Smee doesn't need any more dry food, so let's go ahead and give him some wet food. I had to lock him into his playpen last night because he was being so loud. I don't like doing that. When he's loud in a butthole, that's what happens. So Smee is my personal cat that I foster failed. He's disabled. I have an entire video all about him and his routine, but since he's disabled, I help him eat. So I'll be back when he's eaten. Are you licking me? You're supposed to be eating. Why are you licking me? You want that? Yeah? Want some water? No water. Okay, let's go in the box. So I was completely nodding off while feeding me, so I'm gonna go take a nap and then we'll see what I do when I'm up. I'll probably not get up until it's next time to feed the kittens, which is at 10. Just got up. My hair's a mess again. I'm gonna go feed them babies again, and I'll be back later. Want your lunch? Here's your lunch. I need to weigh your babies, too. I just realized I forgot to weigh her babies this morning as I'm getting her lunch. So I'm gonna weigh them now. Hey, Sunny. She's kind of mean, but at the same time, she lets me pet her sometimes. She's really weird. Sorry I haven't been super active. The video is definitely going to pick up this more, more this afternoon. I've just been sleeping all morning in between kitten feedings. So these guys will be a week old tomorrow. And they are super chunky for their age. You still have your cord. At 60. This is Azalea. 163. She was 157 last night, so that's good. It's me is banging against the Tespo. He can't get to Sunny and he's mad about that. 
This is Buttercup. You're very soft and fluffy. Your mom's doing a very good job. 172. That's good. He was 163 last night. Let's get you notice. Oh, you lost your cord too. Where'd it go? I don't know where your cords went. This guy is just not as loud. Like the other guys are kind. Smate. He's just pawing at the test bow. He's just not as active. Like I've noticed that. Like his heads. He's holding up his head fine. So I think he's fine. He's just been like this his entire life. 151. He was 145 earlier. It's me. I told you to stop already. You're bothering Sunny. Stop it. In Sunflower. He looks very much like Buttercup. He did have a spot on his ear to tell them apart when I first got them. Because I couldn't tell them apart. But now I can tell them apart. Buttercup, or Sunflower face is a little skinnier. 136. He was 133, so he doesn't have the biggest game, but he's good. Good girl, Sunny. She's in a bad mood because Smee has just been doing this right outside her playpen. Who would like that? Not me. Okay, Smee. Time to go into your litter box. I put him in the box four times a day. I don't know if I've told you guys this already or not. I don't remember and I cannot be bothered to check. But I had, early this morning, I basically had to get up to feed them. And then I didn't get to go back to sleep because... I noticed the little little guys, the orphans, were suckling on each other and since they were suckling on each other, I had to separate them. But I basically kept the tub that they were in and I've put a cardboard divider in it and I like have the heating pad underneath the cardboard divider so that it's on both. I did the same thing in a cardboard box for the other guys. My battery is about to die. Okay, I am back. So I had just had lunch and I I was talking to the director of the rescue I'm fostering the bottle babies from and I was saying like, hey, I had to separate them because they were suckling. And she was like, that's kind of weird. And I was also like, yeah, they're not eating. Basically, they're only eating like three milliliters or so every two hours, which I would prefer them to be eating like four to five milliliters every time I'm feeding them. And so she was like, well, even though they're a little too young, why don't we switch their feedings to every three hours and see if they eat better there. So I'm going to do that. So I don't feed them until one and where did my phone run off to there it is and it is 11 43 so i do need to film my video the first portion of the video i actually have two videos i want to film today the first one is like what it's like to care for newborn kittens or kittens less than a week old and the other one is the first portion of my video of kittens zero to eight weeks old and i'm gonna do that i originally wanted to do it with sunny's babies but you'll see at the beginning of that video she literally took the kitten out of my hand when i was trying to film it <laughs> and back into the bed so i can't do it with her kittens so i'm gonna do it with the other kittens and they're a little bit younger anyways so that will work out well i also have to do some schoolwork today and i would also like to edit this video or start editing it. So I have a lot to do today, which it does not help that I am extremely tired right now. I think the first thing I want to do is actually film the videos I wanted to do, but before I do that, I'd like to plan out what I was gonna do or like what I'm gonna talk about in them. I already know what I wanna do for the zero to eight weeks for that portion, but I don't know what I wanna do for the zero week old kitten care. So I'm just gonna write down some ideas in this notebook that I write down whenever I want to write down ideas. You can see here I just have newborn kitten care written and now I'm just gonna probably not fill up the entire page, but just fill up whatever I want. Because obviously you're watching this, you know I have a YouTube channel where I talk about kitten care. I just realized I haven't given this background info on the new babies I got. Because I've been so tired my brain is literally everywhere. So I got a message from the director of my rescue that I love to work with and she sends me this picture of the kittens and I'm like oh do they need a foster and she's like yes I also have two two-week-old kittens and originally I was going to take the two-week-olds because they um I'd have to get up less in the night basically and I'm really behind on school so that would have been easier but in the end I decided to take the the newborns because she said they were doing really well basically when she told me she was like they're not going to be ready for me to pass them off for a couple days just because I want to make sure they're healthy enough to pass on to a foster so normally when I say oh I'm not getting kittens for a couple days like they're in a safe environment it's just like they won't be coming to me for a couple days. She said they were doing amazingly and that the two week olds actually weren't doing the best. They were having diarrhea. One of them wasn't latching well. And so I was like, well, I'll take the newborns. Even though it's more work, like less sleep wise, 
I'll take them. And she told me a bit about their story. Their story was actually that, you know, there are car junkyards and then every so often when those junkyards get full, they go and crush the cars. Well, they're in a junkyard, like so windows are broken and stuff. And what we assume happened is that a feral cat went and gave birth in a car, you know, a car can be it's like a car with a broken window that she can easily get in would be would have been like she would have thought like hey this is a great place to give birth when in reality the cars were about to be crushed so no it was not a safe place but she didn't know that because she's a cat but fortunately the people that work at the car crushing plant or whatever have figured out that stuff like that happens uh, relatively frequently actually so they always check the cars which is I'm so so glad they do that because these kittens would have been crushed literally if they didn't check the cars but they checked the cars and these kittens the four kittens were found in a car that was about to be crushed and so they took them out and yes we separated them from their mom their mom is probably somewhere around the junkyard but it was a situation where the car was already removed from its original home mama probably couldn't have found them and the kittens couldn't be left in the car you know it was about to be crushed it was going to be crushed so that's a situation where we had to remove them from their mom so that they would not die but yeah i just wanted to share their story because i know a lot of you guys are interested in that now i'm gonna get back to writing this i feel like i'm forgetting something so far i have showing my setup the necessary supplies in a setup feeding the necessary supplies for food the schedule of like what i do to feed them and stuff and then how to make sure they're healthy because a lot of people don't know like whether or not kittens are healthy or how to tell so i have that wish i was live so that you guys could like tell what i'm talking about um and of course kitten showing because everyone loves to see the kittens i think that's all i'm gonna need for this video but let's just take a quick break and i'm gonna talk about my incubator so my parents basically told me that as a reward for finishing up this school year, which I should be finishing up in June or July, they would give me an incubator. One of the pet brooder ones, one of the ones I've been wanting since I started fostering. But they were gonna wait until the summer to get it for me, but because kitten season is kind of picking up, they decided they would go ahead and get it for me. It should be here in a week or so, and so that these current kittens will be able to have it. But I'm really excited for that. I'll probably do an unboxing video, which will mostly be me not knowing what I'm doing with the incubator. I'm gonna go ahead and go film those two videos, which will both, I'll be filming them in my bathroom. Don't fall, please. Hmm, I'm having a hard time getting this camera set up the way I want it. Maybe I can set it on the floor. Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Kitten Choreographer, and I'm a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. Okay, so I just filmed the first part of my newborn kitten care video. I need to wait to film the second part until it's time to feed them again, and then I'll feed it, and it'll go up in the same video. I just need, I just wanted to feed them and show how I feed them in that video too. And now I'm gonna go ahead and film the first part to my zero to eight weeks video. Okay, so I'm done filming everything I was going to film today, except for like this portion of the video. I was originally intending to upload the video I'm filming right now tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna upload this one Wednesday instead and upload one of the videos I just filmed now tomorrow which is the one that is finished the less than one week old kitten care i do need to do some school today i also need to edit the video today i also need to what else was i going to do today something else so i will stay in touch with you guys i have several fun projects that i would like to do if i have time but we'll see i'm probably gonna go do some history now though because so i have my history exam on thursday and i'm not done with the essay i have to write before that so i'm gonna go do that okay guys so it is almost 3 p.m I have been procrastinating school. Wow, the lighting is... Whoa, let's get in the sun. Huh? Is it gonna work? Oh, it's very bright. Ignore the kind of bad lighting. Hang on. There we go. That's a little better. Very bright. My light is off. That's why it's kind of dark in the background. I don't like to keep it on. It is almost 3 p.m. And that was when I was gonna feed the kittens next. For the past little bit, I've been scrolling through TikTok, procrastinating during my school, and then I did an essay test. Did not procrastinate on that, which is good. And I also just now just did a very, very brief photo shoot with Sunny's babies, just cause the independent rescuer that I'm fostering them through wanted just a couple pictures of them. Like the pictures are not anything special. I just hold them up and take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I think she might already have potential adopters for them, which is crazy. They're like not even a week old, but of course the adopters won't pay for them or anything until they're a bit closer to adoption age cause anything could happen still. But Sunny was not happy. She was not happy. I was taking pictures of her babies because her babies were screaming and she did not like that. But yeah, I'm gonna feed the kittens again. Yeah. 
also if you're wanting to see how I syringe feed my kittens I'm just not really explaining it in this video because I just filmed a video explaining it and that video should actually be up for this one so I'm gonna feed the kittens and then I'm gonna do a little bit of Spanish because I didn't do all the schoolwork I was planning to do today yet and then I'm probably gonna start editing my video wow lighting you're really not helping but yeah I'm gonna go feed the kittens I was extremely typical of me and I didn't film an outro for the vlog or like finish it at all so it's like the day I'm gonna upload this when I realized I was like I didn't I didn't finish it so this is me finishing it thank you so much for watching if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten related content I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays if I can and if I can't I upload whenever I want to thank you so much for watching again and goodbye